It's uh, September 12th, bright and early in the morning. It's time to take a look at our garden again. We got our jalapeno. You can see there's a bunch of little ones on there. Still growing. They seem to take quite a while to grow. We had some of them on there for about three weeks before they stopped. When these we cut off this morning. So we got our first edible harvest. We'll wrap those suckers in bacon tonight. We planted some more spinach, or not spinach, uh, broccoli. These are broccoli plants the wife put in this morning. We've got our little fence up. And then our okra has done taken over half the garden here. But you can see there's a big old uh, okra in there just about ready to be cut. Those things are huge. We have our peas which are blossomed bunch of blossoms on there but that's about it it's weird because they the bottom looks real bad on them but still at the top you know they're they've got blossoms our tomato plants which are starting to look like trees we've got a ton of these big old tomato plants with blossoms all over them but we haven't had one tomato yet and we're not sure what the deal is with that just and you know, can see you can see blossoms everywhere there's several different plants there several different that's a little grape one and there's blossoms everywhere on it but no tomatoes so here's another big old plant tomato plant tons of blossoms no tomatoes but I don't know we're waiting but I'll, most of our tomato plants look pretty good lettuce is hanging on in this heat <clears throat> and then our green beans we got some green beans coming there's a uh, there's some right there there's a couple lots of blossoms I haven't really looked through those are pretty hard to spot see there's another one there they're, they're kind of hard to spot so I haven't looked through real good there could be a lot more in there than what I know about you can see we got these uh, planters we were using for a fence they're supposed to be tomato cages and those uh, beans love that thing they're wrapped around there a whole bunch of different ways coming off the top two three feet and still growing trying to grow so we've uh, I think <clears throat> what we're gonna do next time is we planted our tomatoes on both sides of the row the fence row and next time what we're gonna do is put all our tomatoes on the far side of the fence row <clears throat> in hopes that it creates a little shade for some of the leaf plants like the lettuce this lettuce seems to be doing the best and I think it's because it's in the shade because in the full Sun that lettuce wilts up to nothing and they actually killed two of our lettuce plants it gets full sun so we're gonna try using the tomatoes as a blockade and see if see how that works we got a watermelon which just hasn't done anything our pumpkin which has flowered several times but we don't have any pumpkin started yet but it's really grown uh, it's it's done taking off it's starting to wrap itself around all the wires and everything 
It's wrapped itself around this little center deal. More jalapeno plants. More broccoli. But it's pretty cool if you take a look at the earlier videos, you can see that uh you can see, you know, all the plantings, different plantings we've done. The stu some stuff has died. Like this broccoli we did from seeds and it's barely hanging on. It's it's probably not going to make it. But it's pretty neat because you can see this little uh, sweet basil was only about six, eight inches high when we got it. And now it's two feet. That thing is just shot right up. It's definitely a lot of fun. There's very, very little maintenance to do. The wife comes out here and uh, pops little plants in. We got plants growing in our windowsill all the time. But as far as weeding or anything like that, other than running a weed eater outside the outside of the cage to kill the grass, to keep the grass down, you almost never have to weed inside the bed. We've had mushrooms pop up here and there. See, like this is a this is a bad weed condition right here. That's a horrible weed condition. And that's about all you get is is a couple little pieces of grass. And you just pull them up, which I didn't do a very good job there. It's hard to reach from this side. Maybe there's another one. But that's the extent of the weeding. Nothing like a traditional garden. Much, much easier to maintain. I can foresee us fiddling with this for many years. In fact, the wife wants another box like this over here somewhere which isn't too bad because the more boxes I have the less mowing I have to do we finally got some rain the backyards looking a little green looks a lot better needs to be mowed down there but but our poor little lake is still low suffering it's been so dry but that's it folks until next week we'll see you then